It's the internet, you're busy. We're going to do Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment for the Nintendo Switch. This is the new campaign for Shovel Knight. Uh, it's out now. I think it's like, I think it's 10 bucks, maybe 20. Uh, but you can get it in like the big package with all the Shovel Knight content on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Uh, I think that's, I think that might be 25 bucks or something like that. Um, but yeah, the point is, uh, this is the new Shovel Knight, more Shovel Knight content. We're going to jump right in. I'm going to start this. I think this game looks really great. Um... You know what? I think this is just going to start the beginning, so we'll just go ahead and and select this one. So, if you're unfamiliar with the Shovel Knight lore, uh, basically the first game came out. It was Shovel Knight fighting all these different other knights of of various weapons, uh, and uh, the, what like for those various bosses, um, the developer Yacht Club Games asked the, the fans what what which other one of those bosses they'd like to see have their own campaigns, and They've done a bunch of those now, and now Spectre Knight is the one, is the most recent one. And I think this might also be the most substantial one as well. Um, it's like the one that wasn't included with the price of the original Shovel Knight. Uh, they're selling this, like, as a brand new sequel, um, completely separate from from Shovel Knight. So, uh, the point is, is that it's all new levels. It's not just a, a, a different character in the same levels. It's all new levels, all new stuff to do. Um, and... And yeah, we'll, we'll get right into it. And it also plays very differently. So the Shovel Knight, you know, you had the shovel, you're digging, uh, you're fighting enemies. Uh, there's still a lot of that, but like, for example, this guy can dig this stuff out, but then he can also run up walls, which is, uh, uh, you know, a completely different mechanic than what Shovel Knight had. He had a uh, jumping on his shovel sort of mechanic, which was, you know... I, I, which I, it was like Scrooge McDuck, uh, if you've ever played those, uh, that old, the old DuckTales games. This is not bad. This is running up a few feet and then being able to jump off the wall. But, it is still Shovel Knight. It still looks great. It still has that great parallax in the background, um, the great art style. Uh, it still looks like an, an, like an, it still looks like an, if you made an NES game, um, today. Because it's got a lot, a lot more going on than NES, but, huh. I wonder what I just did there. Felt like he just sort of um, did like a dive kick. So uh, he can look. So okay, so this is Specter Knight. He can run up these walls as long as there's no grass on them. So you see that grass over like the far left. I wouldn't be able to run up this, but the dirt walls I can run up those. So no problem there. Um, but like this one over there, I couldn't run up. So I'm gonna stick to this side. Cool. So I think that was an extra death life? I don't know. Um, and, oh, okay, cool. That's what I was doing. Whoa, this is just the coolest. So if there's an enemy, you could do this, I guess. And that's how you get up and, okay. So this, it's like part of the platform and part of the combat. So if I just jump and I'm, uh, and I had an attack like that, I'll just jump and, and attack. But if I get close enough, and you see, so you see that like fire up here, that line of fire. And if it, if I do it like if I do it early, like too soon, if I, like when I'm above them, I'll do a downward strike. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. I really like that mechanic. Uh, and again, like it's just so much different than um, than Shovel Knight. Uh, like Shovel Knight, though, you can get to these checkpoints. You could bash these, beat them up, and then um, continue. Um, and take the gold from here, but then you won't, like, when you die, you won't continue from here. But, uh, this is the first level, so it doesn't even give you that option. This is just kind of learning, and that means wall running, wall jump, and then jump attack to, uh, complete that whole thing. That was great. So, I, I mean, like, like the core Shovel Knight games, these just, it just feels good. Uh, I just like the way this feels. And, yeah, I, I want to just do more of that. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Alright, never mind. I don't want to do that much more of that. Hey, at least I didn't... At least you can't break these checkpoints yet, or else I'd have to go all the way back to the beginning. Alright. So I like the, the original Shovel Knight a lot. And I'm glad that they just keep making more of these. Although I, I haven't played a lot of the extra content. Um, I, oh my god. And now I just lost those second bags. Those, those That second and third bag. So now I gotta just recover, like, way less. All right, I'm just not gonna be a dumbass this time. 
But well, I mean, at least I'm showing you how it works, right? No oh, shit. And I've already got that skull, so it looks like it's like just a regular one now. Huh, cool. Shit. So uh, this is definitely the similar boss from the first one, but you, I mean, you're, it's, it's going to play completely differently because the uh, Specter Knight plays so differently. I guess that wasn't a boss either. It was just like a half, um, uh, like a mini boss. So much more jewels if I didn't screw up. So I, I mean, okay. So Spectre Knight also has these different meters: the Darkness meter and his Will. Um, I think the Will is his life. But let's see if we can. I'm not sure what we're like. The, I don't think the Darkness does much yet. I think that's going to be something that comes up later when you, as he gets more abilities. Playing with skulls. All right. Hell yes. So yeah, again, like Core Shovel Knight, a lot of secrets, a lot of stuff to discover, um, a lot of cool art bits where you get to look out here and see the setting sun behind these waterfalls. It's just cool. Oh, I missed some treasure. All right, moving on. You know that bubble's here for that jump attack. And uh, he doesn't, I can't attack down, but he destroys these things whenever he jumps on them. So, I guess that's good to know. Get some darkness. I love. Uh, I do love the, just the treasure collecting mechanic here, where where you can lose stuff like Dark Souls, and you have to come back and collect your uh, the loot you dropped when you died. Um, you know, it's been talked about a lot, but I still think it's a very good idea. That they've uh, really done. A lot with. Oh shit, that was, I hit the jump button instead of attack. Huh. Damn it. I thought I had it there. Alright. Well, I, I, I talked about the mechanic and now I get to try it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna risk it that much more. Let's just see if I can get a couple of those bags back. Oh, no. I want to try to get these at least. Shit! I, I see, like, the line there, and it appears there, and I hit the button, and it's like I always hit the button right as it disappears. Well... Okay, I said I was going to risk that much more, and now I have almost nothing left. I'm a, I'm a big dummy. Oh my god. You ever seen Tin Cup? Kevin Costner tries to get that. Doesn't want to lay up. That's what I'm doing right here, I guess. I wonder if I can, like, knock that thing down. Shit! <laughs> Well, now they should all be easy to get, right? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm moving on. That's that's not worth it to me anymore. But this thing looks like you can, like, knock it down. There we go. Secret room! Oh, shit. I almost had it there. That bubble came up. If I had known that bubble was coming, I would have made it. <sighs> okay. Well, at least I don't have to struggle through this anymore. Oh, 
Well, that's cool that you can, like, use the dead corpse as a way to progress. Well, I guess I should see what's up here. Cool. All right, moving on. Whoa, I totally blew up a wall there. You know, now I look at I think some of these levels, maybe they are the same as a Core Shovel Knight, but they just play so differently because the characters are so different. Huh. At least, at least some of these things are familiar. I'll have to look that up. I wonder if I can get into there. Well, I should get to the checkpoint first, huh? Yeah, give it to me. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna go back down and try that secret room. was completely deliberate, too. Oh, yeah, these things. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. All right, cool. Oh, shit. No, I totally hit it in time. Man, okay. I, want, I just want to beat this level. Like, that's all. And I want to have a lot of friggin' money when I do. But of course I'm not going to because I stink at this game. It is taking some, like, getting used to. Uh, like, because his, like, automatic wall running is weird. Like, if he touches a wall, he'll start running up it. Which is just strange. What the hell? <laughs> All right, I'm. I. You know what? I'm just gonna move on. We're just moving on. That's it. Shit. Yeah. Stupid green face. Man, this is cool. I like this mechanic a ton. Like, during fights, it's, like, really satisfying to just swing through the air and be able to uh, attack, attack, attack. I mean, it's a, it's a cool platforming mechanic, too, honestly. Shit. I mean, not that cool, though. I don't think I, even, I can even get those bags. Those bags might be lost. You did. All right, green face. You and me once again. Hell yes. You're mine. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I really just got to beat this level. Ah, oh, man. I should I just leave those behind too. I mean, now I can feel myself like getting used to the combat. I really want to just go ahead and play this whole game. Uh, so maybe I'll do a few more videos. I should probably get good first and then come back and play this. Um, but, because this kind of, this these boss battles, these mini boss battles, just feel so good. That I really want to, like, spend some more time, like, getting, like, getting familiar with everything. 
Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, I don't think I can recover those. I, I, I mean, I'm trying to, like, delay my jump to the last second, and that's not working. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> No more playing around. This is it. This is this is the good stuff right here. This is when I'm just gonna I'm gonna wizard out. I'm gonna turn into Fred Savage's little brother, and I'm gonna get five thousand in Double Dragon. That's that's what's happening now. You have a stupid dragon face. No. I mean yes. Damn it. The wizard fell through pits sometimes, right? Didn't didn't that happen at the end of the game or the end of the movie? You suck. I gotta be careful. I always feel like I'm gonna do one of those diving uh, attacks right into a pit. I wonder, I wonder what this gear means. Trade these into lock new curios. Okay. There we go. Success. See, I know what I'm doing. Give me, give me money. Cause I've already lost all my other shit. Boom, oh, boom. <sighs> Shit, okay. I'm trying to see if I can get up to that top, because clearly there's a secret over there. I think I need to... Wait till he gets at the top. Do a jump. There we go. Alright. Money! Alright, now I just don't need to lose this shit trying to get that, like, one little coin over there to the left I left. Or to the right that I didn't pick up the first time. Woohoo! All right. Now I just need to get the hell out of here safely. Now you're going to help me do it, dragon. Well, okay, never mind. Success. And I'm going to get some will. Looks like he's just eating old bones. Spectre Knight's weird. I love old bones. Give me your old bones. Oh man, the art in this game is so good. This game looks so good on the Switch too. I think that the, like it's especially even in portable mode. That's it's big 720p screen. Uh, really is perfect for this uh, kind of art style. Although I do miss playing it in 3D on the 3DS. I like this. This game looks really good in 3D. Or this, you know the original Shovel Knight. Did. It's a rhinoceros. That doesn't seem fair. Boss. Okay. Cool. Man, it's just this that that mechanic feels really great. Shit. Oh, he got on top.
Did I get him? Hell yeah. You're you're mine now, Rhinoceros. You're my ride. Whew, good game. Okay. I mean, I suck at it, but good game. Pant, pant, that fighting style. Could it be Donovan? But you were claimed by the tower. The tower grows in power at each moment. The Enchantress's plan is for you and will grant you what you desire. I won't be led astray. You standing before me means there's hope for the one I seek. I'm glad you were saved, Donovan, but keep your distance. The Donovan I knew would surely know better than to pursue me further. I'm going to pursue you. Or run right past you. I don't know. All right, guys, that's that's uh, Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. Uh, it works. It's a good game. I suggest it. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> this is uh, to be continued. <laughs> I saw someone do that joke where it's... Um, I think it's from... What's that? What's that anime? JoJo. Where it plays that music, and then it pauses, and it's like, to be continued. You guys know what I mean. So that's what it looks like. All right, I'm going. Thanks for watching, guys. Shovel Knight, Spectre Torment. I'll catch you next time. See you in the new video. Bye-bye.